everyone. This is Learning Along with Miss Meg. I'm Miss Meg, and I work at Wayne County Public Library. If there is something you want to learn about, please remember to write it in the comments, and then I will talk about it the next time that I do this program. It would be very helpful if you could comment and leave anything at all that you're interested in learning about. I would appreciate it. Thanks. So today, we're going to talk about three different topics. We're going to talk about ghosts. We're going to talk about mindfulness and meditation, and also character traits. All of these are in the Dewey Decimal System of the 100s. The first topic I'm going to talk about is ghosts. The book I read was Eerie Haunted Places. This one right here. And it talks about ghosts in many different places across the world. Have you ever been in a haunted place? Did it scare you? Well, one of the places mentioned in this book is the White House. Abraham Lincoln's ghost was seen, particularly during World War II. Eleanor Roosevelt saw his ghost, and also Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Another ghost that was seen in the White House was Andrew Jackson's. He haunts the Rose Room, which is said to be one of the most haunted rooms in the White House. Do you think there are ghosts in the White House? Read the book and think, find out if you believe in that. Another place they talk about is the Eastern State Penitentiary. Al Capone was a prisoner there and claimed there was a ghost that haunted him. The ghost name was Jimmy, and it was one of his victims. The Eastern State Penitentiary is recognized as one of America's most haunted places. The, the visitors who have gone there have heard laughter and have spotted ghosts in the hallways. Another haunted place is the Tower of London. This is often considered the most haunted place on Earth. There are two ghosts that appear in this place that were part of the royal family and were murdered during the 15th century in the Tower of London. Their skeletons were later found. They will wander, their ghosts will wander in the hallways and the visitors will see them in nightgowns and holding hands. Sometimes the visitors will feel strangled by ghosts or they feel pushed out of rooms. Read eerie haunted places and decide whether or not you believe in ghosts. Other books in this section are The Chilling Interactive Adventures. These are a You Choose series, and it delves into the terrors that you can find in the Tower of London, Alcatraz, the Winchester House Mystery, Gettysburg Battlefield, and the Queen Mary. What choices are you going to make when you read these books? The next topic I'm going to talk about is mindfulness and meditation. Malika Chop Chopra wrote a book called Just Breathe. Its call number is J158.12 Chopra. It has fun illustrations in the book and shows various yoga and meditative practices that helps one to breathe, to be silent, to notice things, to move and meditate, to creatively meditate, so doing art and meditating, and ask yourself questions, allowing you to meditate on the answers. Malika Chopra began meditating when she was nine years old. She states on page one that the book will help you to deal with stress, to sleep better, manage friendships, to be more in control, to feel confident in expressing what you want. This book will help you become aware of what is happening around you and stay calm. For each of the techniques, there are ex explanations given, and it explains how it helps you with your well-being. On page 13, 
She gives an example of just breathe. It goes like this. Okay, you ready? Right now, take a deep breath. Breathe in and out. Again, breathe in and out. Did you notice that when you are breathing, your mind stops racing? Try thinking a thought and breathing at the same time. For example, say your name in your mind and then breathe. You will notice that your mind jumps from thinking your name to noticing your breath. It is hard to do both at the same time. In this way, breathing helps you control your racing thoughts. You can control what's going on in your head by changing how you breathe. When you are in control of your thoughts, you will act more calmly and will be more relaxed and will generally find you are happier. So breathe in and out and breathe again in and out. Just breathe because it helps keep your mind attentive and healthy. Other books in this area are Stop, Breathe, Chill, Meditations for a Less Stressful and More Awesome Life by Beth Stebner. Another book is Mindful Me, Mindfulness and Meditations for Kids by Whitney Stewart. And the last book I'm going to mention is Breathe Like a Bear, 30 Mindful Moments for Kids to Feel Calm and Focused Anytime, Anywhere by Kira Wiley. The last topic I'm going to talk about are character traits like honesty, friendship, fairness, and compassion. All of these are in the book Inspiring Stories of Sportsmanship by Brad Hertzong. The call number is 175 Hertzong. These are stories of athletes who used character traits that affected their game and showed good sportsmanship. In one of the stories on the track field, Ron Clark was running and somebody shifted his, his heel and he fell. Landry, who was another runner, was close behind him and he tried to leap over Clark. But when he did, he scraped the arm of Clark with his shoe spike. So Landry continued running, but then he stopped and thought, I better go help him. So he went back and he helped Clark get back up. And then he continued to run the race and he did win the race, but he was trying to set a world record, which he didn't do because he was showing the character trait of compassion by going back and helping Clark. Because of this, there is a bronze sculpture that stands with the word sportsmanship in his honor. Another story is in the ice hockey ring. The ice hockey defenseman, Dennis Weidman, was playing and he scored two goals during the game, which is a real feat for a defenseman. If he scored a third goal, it would earn the title Hats Trick. Weidman did score the third goal, and he got the title Hats Trick. But then he was talking to the reporters and told them that it didn't count because the puck actually bounced off the leg of his teammate and went into the goal. And when the officials looked back and reviewed that, they saw that that was true. Weidman decided that it was much more important to, instead of having the title of hat trick during this game, it was much more important to win it honestly. Other books in this category are The Smart Kid's Guide to Friendship by MJ Kosen, Compassion by Katie Masako, and Honestly, Honesty Counts by Marie Bender. These are some of the topics in the 100s. Now, if there's a topic you want to learn about, let me know, and I'll talk about it next time. Until then, enjoy. Learning.